Noah and Evie are making the most of playing outside. But it isn't always fun and games for the twins who live in Melbourne. Both have had allergies since they were babies. Noah had his first allergic reaction to an egg when he was just eight months old. He was eating that and a short time later had swelling, uh, respiratory distress, vomiting, um, yeah, all kinds of things. So, yeah, that was pretty scary. Australia has the world's highest rate of food allergies. Researchers there are studying women and their babies during and after pregnancy. What they found is a link between bacteria in a mother's digestive systems and reducing the chance of food allergies in the first year of life. What we found was a very strong signal that women who carried a bacteria called Prevotella copri, um, that their babies were at a substantially reduced risk of developing food allergy. Prevotella copri is a microbe that ferments fibre from food into fatty acids. Previous studies of baby mice that had a high fibre diet showed reduced allergic reactions. The latest research looked to see if that was the same for people. Food allergies are on the rise globally and for some people can be life-threatening. Scientists are still trying to understand why allergies are more prevalent in developed countries and urban areas. But studies have shown a link with our modern lifestyle. Pollution and hygiene products which kill bacteria all affect our immune systems. Our bodies contain trillions of bacterial cells. Many live in the digestive system. The Australian researchers say they hope their latest findings could help develop a probiotic. That stimulates a baby's developing immune system and reduces the likelihood of later developing an allergy. It might not be a cure for Noah and Evie but it may be one step closer to an allergy-free life for millions of others. Sarah Khairat, Al Jazeera.